In this video, I want to show you how to create a contact form in your WordPress website. I'm going to be doing this using the plugin WP Forms, the free version of WP Forms. First, you need to install the plugin. So go to Plugins, hover over it, and click on Add New. Next to keyword, key in WP Forms and wait for it to search for it. And this is the first one. So it's called Contact Form by WP Forms. There are two versions of this, the light version, which is free, and the pro version. When you install it, it will install the free version and you can activate it by purchasing a license. But for this video, I'm gonna show you only the free version. Install now. So I clicked on Install Now to install it. And once it is installed, of course, I'm gonna activate it. So click on activate. It should be activating now. And it took you directly after activation to the welcome page. So here you can find it under the menu here, which is WP Forms. The first thing we need to do is to go to settings. So hover over WP Forms and go to settings. And let's see the settings one by one. First here, if you have a license key, you passed it here, but this is a free version, as I told you, so I don't want a license key. And in the settings page under general, we have one option that is of interest for us. It is a GDPR. So check on it and click Save Settings. Let's see the other settings. Under Email, here, if you have a header image, for instance, you can put a header image in your reply. The image should be 300 times 100 pixels. Here, I don't have a header image. You can change the background color also. So here we have changed nothing. Recapture for the purpose of this video, I'm not gonna configure Recapture, but here I'm gonna show you that if you have a Google secret key and side key, you can put them here and use Google Recapture. For the validation, you have these required fields. This is basically the message that will pop up for the user in case they don't fill the field or in case they fill it incorrectly. You can customize it to your liking. For the integrations also, this is mainly for the pro version. Access also, this is for the pro version. And under miscellaneous, here, if you want, for instance, to hide the announcement from this plugin, you can check it here. And also, if you want to hide the admin bar menu, you can check it here. So it will hide this one here, but I'm going to leave it unchecked. And this is important here. So in case you want to uninstall WP Forms and you don't want to leave any settings behind, you can check this one. And once you uninstall and delete the plugin, it will delete all its settings. This is useful for testing and for environments where you only want to use it temporarily. And here I'm just going to click on Save Settings. After adjusting the settings to our likings, we need to add a new form. And then later on, we'll add it to a page. I'm going to show you this. So click on Add New to add a new form. Here we are adding a contact form. So hover here on Simple Contact Form and click on Create a Simple Contact Form it will get pre-populated for you. So here are the standard fields which come with the free version. And here are the, they call it fancy fields, but these are only for the pro version. So I'm gonna concentrate only on some fields here. The simple contact form here, you can change its name by clicking on it, of course. So let's say here, contact us. And if you want to add the CSS class, you can put it here. And here you can also change the submit and sending messages. So this is a submit button text if you want to change it. Here I'm going to leave it on submit. And for the sending button processing text, you can change also this message here. I'm going to keep it as it is. Enable anti-spam honeypot. I'm going to also leave it as it is to help fight the spam. So click on save. 
and then go back to fields. And here we are going to add another field. So you see here that the simple contact form title was changed to contact us because I clicked on it and I changed it. And let's add here, for instance, a field, a drop down field, which is a gender. So click on the field and just drag it and put it wherever you want here. I'm going to put it just before the message. And you can configure the field. To configure it, you click on the right here, which is click to edit, drag to reorder. So I'm going to click on edit. And once you click here, you have the options here. So the label here, I'm going to change it to gender. And the first choice, let's put it male. And second choice, female. And third choice, prefer not to not to say. Let's see the advanced options. And the advanced options here, you have the style if you want to change it from classic to modern. I'm going to leave it at classic. You can play with these options, of course, so you can modify the form to your liking. And in the placeholder text here, for instance, you can say optional field. And let's click on save now. So we have in the contact us form, you have your name, first name, last name, the email, and you have the gender and the message. So once you create the form here, let's click on settings to see the other settings. We already configured the general settings, which is the form name. And on the notification here, if you want to be notified of the messages you receive through your website, here you can change these fields. So this is here the send to email address where you will receive the messages from the contact form. If you leave it this short code, which is admin underscore email, it will get the email from your WordPress settings. So this is under settings general. And the email subject here, you can change it to your liking also. So you can say message from my contact form. And from name, this is my website name. So it took it also from the WordPress configuration. And from email also, you can either change it here to an email that you want or keep it to the admin email that is specified in WordPress. And here, this is all I'm going to change. So I'm going to click on Save. And the other two options here, they are for the pro version. So I'm going to leave them. And once everything is saved, close it here. And now we need to create a page on our website so that we can attach it to the form. So go to pages, hover over it and click add new. I'm using here the Divi theme, but I'm going to create a page using WordPress. So I'm going to simply here click on the add title and put contact us. And I'm going to use the default editor. So this is the empty page. We need now to attach the form to it. It comes under the form of a widget. So click the plus here to add a block and choose widget. Under widgets, click on the drop down. And here you have the WP forms widget. Click on it and choose the form, which is contact us form. And now first let's publish the page. And let us see the page, how it looks. And this is a page, how it looks on my website. If you want to add it to your menu, of course, you can go here and hover over appearance. Go to menus, and this is my secondary menu where I can add the contact us. Here, I already had an old contact me page, so I'm going to hide this one. And I'm going to add the new contact us page. 
Here it is. Let's save the menu. And let's go now to the website and refresh it. And you'll see this here will be contact us. And once you click on it, it will take you to the contact. Let's try anything. And let's click on submit. You'll have the sending here. And this is the message saying that the form was submitted correctly. And as you see here that I received the email on my website. All the fields are populated as we configured them. And this is a message I received. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you all for watching.